ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ் எம் எஜிடாக் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் எஸ் மல்லிகார்ஜுனன் ஐ ஹாவ் பின் கிவிங் தி இன்ஜினியரிங் கிராஃபிக்ஸ் லெக்சர் வீடியோஸ் இன் போத் தமிழ் அண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் லைன்ஸ் பார்ட் ஃபோர் வி ஹாவ் சீன் ஃபிஃப்த் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்த் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் திஸ் பார்ட் ஃபைவ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி செவன்த் அண்ட் எய்த் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் தி சேனல் எயிட் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் கிளிக் தி பெல் ஐகான் டு கெட் நோட்டிஃபைட் ஓகே Let us move into the video. Seventh problem. The top view of a 65 mm long line CD measures 50 mm. The end C is 15 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. The end D is above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. draw the projections and find the true inclinations it is given that top view length cd equal to 50 mm and true length is 65 mm let us see how to draw the projections of the line cd with the given data that is we will see how to draw front view and top view of the line cd first draw a reference line x y the position of the end point c is given as 15 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp for the first condition point c is 15 mm above hp it means front view of point c should be drawn 15 mm above the xy line so draw a thin horizontal line 15 mm above the xy line mark a point anywhere on the left side of this line this is the front view of the in point c c dash this line is called as locus of c dash next condition point c is 50 mm in front of vp it means top view of point c should be drawn 50 mm below the xy line so draw a thin horizontal line 50 mm below the xy line this line is called as locus of c now project the point c dash to locus of c vertically downward it intersects the locus at a point c which becomes the top view of the end point c the position of the other end point d is above hp and 15 mm in front of vp for the first condition point d is above hp it means front view of point d should be drawn above the xy line but we don't know at what height locus of d dash should be drawn so now it is not possible to draw this line next condition point d is 15 mm in front of vp it means top view of point d should be drawn 15 mm below the xy line so draw a thin horizontal line 15 mm below the xy line This line is called as locus of D. Top view length is given in the problem. In addition, we have drawn two locus lines in top view. Using this, we can draw the top view line. So, draw an arc with point C as center and top view length 50 mm as radius. It cuts the locus of D at point d join point c and point d by a thick line this is the required top view of the line cd look at this drawing to recollect the line drawing procedure usually first end point locus lines are closer to the xy line whereas second end point locus lines are away from the xy line but in this problem it is different Look at the locus lines in the top view. The first end point locus that is locus of C is away from xy line and the second end point locus that is locus of D is closer to the xy line. Anyway, we are going to use the same drawing procedure. There is no change in it. As per the drawing procedure, top view line should be rotated to the first end point locus of the same view hence we can rotate the top view line to the first end point locus that is 
locus of C. So draw an arc with point C as center and top view length 50 mm as radius. It cuts the locus of C at point D1. After rotation, it should be projected to the second endpoint locus in the front view. But in our drawing, there is no line drawn so far to represent second endpoint locus that is locus of D dash. But no issues. Project point D1 vertically upward to some extent. Again, look at the drawing. Second endpoint locus passes through the intersection point of this true length line and this vertical projector. To draw this true length line in our drawing, draw an R with point C dash as center and true length 65 mm as radius. It cuts the vertical projector at point D1 dash. Then join point C dash and point D1 dash by a thin line. This is the required true length line which got above the XY line. Measure the angle of this true length line. You will get the true inclination with HP that is theta equal to 40 degree. Now draw a horizontal thin line through the point D1 dash. This line is called as locus of D dash. Ok, we have finished the top view. Next, how do you draw the front view? True length is given in the problem. So, using this data, we can draw a front view line. As per drawing procedure, true length line present in top view should be projected to the first endpoint locus present in front view. Then, that line should be rotated to the second endpoint locus of the same view to get the front view line. To get a true length line in top view, draw an arc with point C as center and true length 65 mm as radius. It cuts the locus of D at point D2. Join point C and point D2 by a thin line. This is the required true length line which got below the XY line. Next, true length line should be projected to the first endpoint locus present in front view. So, Project point D2 vertically upward to the locus of C dash. You will get a point D2 dash. Now draw an arc with point C dash as center and C dash D2 dash as radius. It cuts this locus of D dash at point D dash. Join point D dash at point C dash by a thick line. This is the required front view of the line CD. In order to check the correctness of your drawing, draw a projector to join the points D dash and D. If this projector is vertical, then what you draw is correct. Otherwise, it is wrong. Measure the angle of the true length line in the top view. You will get true inclination with VP that is phi equal to 32 degree. Drawing has finished. Now, dimension the given data in the drawing such as top view length 50 mm and true length 65 mm. As per the question, we found true inclinations theta and phi. Write them neatly in the drawing sheet using a HP pencil. That's all about the problem. Next, we will see problem number 8. A line EF has its end E is in HP and 40 mm in front of VP. Its front view is inclined at 50 degree to XY line and has a length of 70 mm. The other end F is in VP. Draw the projections. In the problem, the position of both the endpoints of the line EF front view length 70 mm and its inclination 50 degree are given. Now, let us see how to draw the projections of the line EF with the given data. First, draw a reference line XY. The position of first endpoint E is given as in HP and 40 mm in front of VP. For the first position, point E is in HP. It means front view of point E should be drawn on the XY line. That is, XY line acts as locus of E dash. Mark a point anywhere on the left side of this line. 
This is the front view of the end point E. That is E dash. Next condition, point E is 40 mm in front of VP. So, top view of point E should be drawn 40 mm below the XY line. So, draw a thin horizontal line 40 mm below the XY line. This is locus of E. Now, project the point E dash to locus of E vertically downward. It intersects the locus at a point E which becomes the top view of end point E. The position of second end point F is given as in VP. It means top view of point F should be drawn on the XY line. That is, XY line also act as locus of F. Front view length and its inclination are given. Using this data, we can draw a front view line. So, from point E dash, draw a thick line which is inclined upward at 50 degree with a front view length of 70 mm. The other end point of this front view line is F dash. Draw a thin horizontal line through point F dash. This line is called as locus of F dash. Look at this drawing to recollect the line drawing procedure. Front view line should be rotated to the first end point locus of the same view. Then that line's end points should be projected to the corresponding locus lines in the top view to get the true length line. Based on this procedure, rotate the front view line to the first end point locus. That is, draw an arc with point E dash as center and front view length 70 mm as radius. It cuts the first end point locus that is locus of E dash at point F2 dash. Then the rotated point should be projected to the second end point locus in top view. The second end point locus present in top view is locus of F. It is nothing but the same reference line XY that is the point F2 dash presence in locus of E dash should be projected to the locus of F. But here both the lines represent the same line that is XY line. Hence point F2 dash is projected to the same line and we get a point F2. Join point F2 and point E by a thin line. This is the required true length line which got below the XY line. Okay, we have finished the front view line. Next, how do you draw the top view? We have drawn the true length line in the drawing. By measuring the true length line E F2, you will get the true length. Using this data, we can draw a top view line. To draw a true length line in front view, draw an arc with point E dash as center and true length E F2 as radius. It cuts the second end point locus that is locus of F dash at point F1 dash. Join point E dash and point F1 dash by a thin line. This is the required true length line which got above the XY line. As per the procedure, true length line should be projected to the first end point locus presence in top view. Hence, project point F1 dash vertically downward. It cuts the locus of E at point F1. Now, the line E F1 should be rotated to the second end point locus. So, draw an arc with point E as center and E F1 as radius. It cuts the second end point locus that is locus of F at point F. Join point F and point E by a thick line. This line is the required top view of the line EF. In order to check the correctness of your drawing, draw a projector to join the points F dash and F. If this projector is vertical, then what you draw is correct. Otherwise, it is wrong. Drawing has finished. Now, dimension the given data in the drawing, such as Position of endpoints, front view length 70 mm, 
and its inclination 50 degree as per the question we have drawn the projections that is front view e dash f dash and top view e f apart from this nothing is asked like true length true inclinations etc so there is no need to measure any drawing entity that's all about the problem in the forthcoming videos i will explain the other problems in projection of lines if you have not subscribed the channel yet support me by subscribing don't forget to click the bell icon by doing so you will get the notifications regularly also share this video to your friends thank you